Hey guys, we're going to Costco. I decided today we're vlogging. Okay. We're back in the game. Back in the vlogging game. Back in the vlogging game. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? So you guys saw me in this ensemble in either another video already up or another video coming. You know, two videos one day. What? I'm not gonna change my clothes. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to Costco and um, we wanted to bring you guys along with us. And here's the thing, y'all. Grocery prices are like they're insane right now and what we have found to work best for us is to go to Costco get one huge giant stock up and then we don't need to buy anything else from the grocery store unless we have a craving for something and then we'll go pick that up but for the most part this will be everything that we use for the month so it puts us at about $400 ish for groceries for the month, which is really good even uh, when grocery prices aren't high <laughs> for two people. So we do have to renew our Costco membership for the year today. So that's going to be $60. Wah, wah. Ouch. Ouch. So we'll probably end up spending closer to $460 or something like that. Um, but yeah. Hey, you can say hi. 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 Um, I'm gonna just have my phone for actual Costco so the quality might shift a little bit but then we will do a haul when we get back with all the stuff and uh, we can kind of show you some Ooh, lost the light lost the light oh, 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 boom then I can show you guys uh, what we got some staples kind of how it works for us so let's do it let's do it let's do it and we do have a list, so we have this list, and then Jared made his own list with Captain Crunch. He's got the Captain on there. Um, some things on this list I've never had before, like the healthy noodles, and the monk fruit sweetener, the Rayo sauce. Um, but I was watching a bunch of Costco hauls last weekend when I made this list. Um, so we'll see if they have these things and if we end up getting them. Um, but most of the list is stuff we get every month. And then we are going to get a couple of extra things. So our game plan, since there's been a lot of food shortages, um, we're just going to kind of prepare for winter. Um, I don't know. You know, we don't. We just don't know what's going to happen this winter as far as, like, there's already news reports coming out about, you know, the virus and the flu and, like, all these things and if they start ramping up those articles then it could get real it could get real so we're just gonna buy it we're not gonna like stockpile but please do not show them that tell them what you did well i took some tenderloins <laughs> which were originally about yay big i put them in there for the dogs you know for the dog dog food and I thought I turned it off. <laughs> it no. went all night. How many hours did that thing go? Oh my god. Um. Anyways, we're not like trying to stockpile or scare anyone. We just want to just have a couple extra things on hand if we need them. Yeah. It's it's not a bad idea. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, a couple bags of rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like laundry detergent, cleaning supplies if they have them because those have been hard to find. Water. Just extra meat because you know meat's an issue. So they've been doing uh, limit one. So we might just get different varieties of meat. The essentials. Pasta, you know? cheese. If you stuff, know, nothing crazy. <laughs> if the stuff really does hit the fan, you know? We just want to eat. That's right. Well, yeah, we want to survive too. So, uh, that's kind of where we're at, not to be like Debbie Downers, but just making a plan and blah, blah. Blah, blah. I'm thinking ahead and having food and throwing away old chicken. Guys, I want to show you guys the essentials for leaving your house in 2020. Face mask, check. <laughs> Hand sanitizer, check. Money, check. Keys and phone, check. 
Corona chic. <laughs> Let's go. Cusk. Cusk. This is a skin skin care classic on YouTube. This was like all people used for the longest time to take off makeup. And this big thing is $16.49. I don't need it though, but that's tempting. I could have a classic in my home. Oh well, they have the um, like reusable bags. Ooh, the Boho collection. Oh, I love that. Chic, chic. Oh, I hit your butt. Apologize. Those things are only six dollars. Boy. I don't either. All right, let's haul. We'll just have to do this in rounds because I don't have enough counter space to put it all out. But we did uh, get some Bacardi rum. Y'all, we're gonna put up our little inflatable pool hopefully soon and drink like frozen margaritas in our inflatable pool. I can't wait. Um, we wanted to try this rose A. It's like a champagne rose A. So we got that. I love this butter rum. From like butter chardonnay there it is um and it's been on sale at costco for this month and last month so we got one and then we got the chateau saint michelle chardonnay we got two of those and then we got olive oil this is the Kirk kirkland uh 100 italian extra virgin olive oil and then jared's favorite Kirkland apple juice. You can't tell him nothing about that apple juice. Here's the meat. I said in the beginning we wanted to have a few extra things on hand just to always make sure we have food here. And some examples are, so we didn't get a lot, but there was some stuff that we didn't necessarily need this time around that we just went ahead and picked up. So the first is Kirkland uh, ground beef. This is 88% lean, 12% fat, and this was $21 for six pounds, 6.37 pounds. So we got that, and we'll just end up like sectioning it up and freeze it. Then this is new to us, the Italian, sweet Italian sausage. So we'll end up freezing most of it and then just pulling it as we need but we thought it would be good and in pasta type dishes so or even like veggie stir fries it'd probably be really good in so we got that and i oh i don't remember cost i think it was around 15 dollars. and then kirkland we got the forest ham this is jared's um favorite and this is 1.63 pounds and it is seven dollars and 32 cents um, and then this is a new one for us. It's hand pulled rotisserie chicken breast meat. So this was about fifteen dollars. And what they do, we saw, huh? Thirteen or fourteen. Thirteen or fourteen. Okay. So we actually saw the person working on it when we walked by. Basically, they cook the rotisserie chicken, and then they just pull all the meat off and package it. So it's fully cooked already, and I'm assumed seasoned. Um. Yeah, it says seasoned. So I think that'll be nice to like throw. I was gonna, we're gonna throw it in pasta. Basically everything we're just gonna throw in pasta. <laughs> we love the golden platter, all natural, gluten-free chicken nuggets. These are nice for days that we're hungry and we just don't really feel like cooking, mostly on the weekends. And then this is my favorite Kirkland sliced oven roasted turkey breast fully cooked. I will have this in sandwiches or salads or I got these cheese wraps last time and I still have some left that I'll wrap up and make like a turkey wrap so that's good and then we got the Kirkland boneless chicken breast and I like that these are individually wrapped it just for storage reasons makes it a lot easier to deal with so that is I think all the meat that we got this time around 
Okay, so this is kind of like the grains type section and then Jared's putting stuff away. You gotta double team this stuff, you know? Um, all right, so we, anything you see in bulk that can be frozen, freezed, we froze and freeze it. We froze and freeze it. So Jared wanted tortilla shells. I'm gluten free if you're new here. So these will all be Jared. Jared's which obviously is a lot so he'll just pull out a couple of freeze of rest and kind of go like that um, But it was like three or four dollars for this huge pack of them And then we got some love crunch granola. This one is dark chocolate and peanut butter I've had this you want scissors I've had this one in the past and it's delicious and we have some yogurts we need to eat up before they go bad so why not add dark chocolate peanut butter granola to them? Duh. <laughs> Doritos, y'all, this big bag's like four dollars. You have to get it. You just have to get it. <laughs> um, and then uh, gluten-free bread, the Franz brand. I get two packs of it, freeze it, and then just pull it out as I need it. I like to have a slice of bread with like fried eggs for breakfast. And then I also like sandwiches and stuff. We like grilled cheese and soup. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or like uh, turkey melts, you know. All right, all the pasta I was talking about. We got the healthy noodle pasta, which is gluten-free. And it's like, uh, I mean, it's low carb. I don't know. But everyone keeps saying it's so amazing. It was kind of expensive. It was like $14, 12 to $14 for this. And uh, we will... We will see how it goes, how, if it, how it tastes, all that good stuff. So I'm not on any particular diet plan. I just eat healthy without restrictions. I just focus on portion control. Um, so anything that says like low carb, which means you can eat more. Okay, maybe I just made that up. But like, you know, I just, I'm here for it. Sad news. Here's the post honey bunches of oats, almonds. They were out of his Captain Crunch or didn't have it this time around. Did they have it before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they so, had the, the big old two. Two, two for. Two for, yeah. Um, so, yeah, sad, sad times. And he is currently washing grapes that are cotton candy. He cannot wait. <laughs> you see, he's already like ready to rock and roll here. <laughs> Get out my way. <laughs> All right, here we have veggies, produce, frozen pizza, milk, and just random stuff. Jared said the grapes are good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Morty's like, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, Taylor Farms broccoli, lots of broccoli. So this one, uh, obviously will need to be eaten relatively quickly. Um, but we did get a big bag of frozen ones to have for like later in the month. And then we got a big thing of frozen peas just to add to random meals. <laughs> um, I love the, uh, organic avocado mash. So it has like lemon, salt, and pepper in it. The lemon obviously to preserve it. And it's these little pouches and it's so nice. It's like such a low maintenance way to have avocado throughout the week, like avocado toast. We love the sweet kale, Eat Smart. Um, that's a salad, but we've eaten this so much in the last six months that we kind of like low key burning out on it. Yeah, We're just, yeah, but we just got one instead of like two or three that we normally get. And then asparagus, they have the best asparagus. And then um, the little potato company. We love these little potatoes. Love. Love them. Love them. We also got, actually we're about to make this. So let me set the oven for 25. Best non-pizza pizza ever. <laughs> this is the cauliflower crust pizza that is from the brand Milton's. And you get two in here, and it's gluten-free, and it's like $12 for both. But usually gluten-free pizzas at the grocery store are $12 for one. And this actually is so filling that the both of us can just split a pizza. And it's not too bad in terms of like calories and stuff like that. Um, so we love that we got two just like the chicken okay morty <laughs> just like the chicken nuggets it's nice to have quick meals on hand 
We got Jared's whole milk for the cereal. And then this is was a little bit of a splurge buy. The Welsh's Organic Juice Ice Bar. So these are just like you freeze them. Like, you know, like we're 12 again. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds so good for summertime. Yeah, and our thinking, you know, why not just put one of those in mm -hmm. in the summer sun and then put some rum in as well. Right, so. like cut them, put them in a glass, and then stir it all up. Absolutely. All right. All right, here's the last little bit, the odds and ends. We got uh, some of the Kirkland cage-free eggs. We got this big um, can of tuna, the chicken of the sea. And tuna is limited, one per person, and we noticed the seafood was pretty expensive. So I'm sure there's a reason for that that I'm just not caught up on right now. Um, but all, uh, the chicken was pretty well in stock, and honestly, meat in general was r the best stock this time around. Yeah. Then we've seen in months so that's kind of reassuring i think <laughs> we like getting the three pack of the tropicana orange juice this rails i've seen so many youtubers haul it in their costco hauls so i thought we would try it because we like having marinara on hand because of pasta <laughs> we and eat pizza. and pizza we do eat other things than pasta but um all right so avocado spray oil i like to use this when i make my eggs in the morning on the pan uh, this Cameron's uh, Organic Velvet Moon Coffee, we got it because it was the cheapest, so hopefully it's good, it looks good. Uh, Kraft Singles, I know this isn't, like, is this real food? I don't know that it's actually real food, but we like having a melting cheese on hand to make with our, like, uh, turkey melts or whatever with soup and this in Velveeta just melts the best. We've tried other things if you have other options but we have found these are the best. And then the last thing we got were some pink lady apples. I don't know that I've ever had apples from Costco so we'll see how that goes. Oh and one other thing. We got the Kirkland uh what is that? Alkaline water? Uh -huh. And it has like that pH balance of 9.5. What is this supposed to be a knockoff of? Um, Fiji. Fiji? Yeah. So this is $10, whereas the Fiji, you know, it's like $20 or more. Uh, we usually use a Brita, um, but sometimes we are bougie with our water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is our haul, $433, and this will be all the food we buy for the month. Well, with the exception, like I said earlier, that maybe we have a craving and we go pick something up from the store. But this is the bulk of our food, um, and this has been the most affordable way for us to grocery shop during these times, and it seems to work for us, so we're just going to... That's Morty begging for food, if you can hear the tap dancing. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is the most affordable way we have found to eat and have food in the house. So, woo! Thank you guys for joining us. I hope this was helpful. Hopefully you got some ideas and all of that. Okay guys, I do have vlogs on my channel. I have beauty on my channel. I have food hauls on my channel. So subscribe if you're new. We would love to have you. Usually it's just me, but sometimes little hub hubs jumps in. Hey, hey. But anyways, I hope you guys are well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.